Now, Nintendo is still working extremely hard on adding more quality games to the Switch console. And recently, a port of two older Wii U games joined the ranks. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. However, when this game does finally come out, will it be worth it for the old Wii U and new Switch owners? Well, let's find out. Now, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is just a side-scrolling 2.5D platformer game that we have seen a million times before. It came around the corner sometime after they released the first New Super Mario Bros. and with that revived the 2D side-scrolling formula. It is a part of the Wii U launch title New Super Mario Bros. U and contains both the base game and the New Super Luigi U DLC, which was originally released in 2013. Mario, Luigi, Yellow Toad and Nabbit all return as playable characters from the original, while this game introduces a new one as well called Toadette, who will make her playable debut in the new Super Mario Bros. subseries. She has a unique form known as Peachette after grabbing a super crown that grants her abilities similar to that of Princess Peach and Princess Daisy, and thanks to that we ended up with Bowsette. Yeah. Now aside from that, I actually really want to look into this game purely to answer one simple question. Is. It. Worth. It. Well in order to find out, I mostly want to look at two things. What will they improve in the game in order to make it worth it? And what are the circumstances? The Switch is different compared to the Wii U after all. Let's start with our first point. When it comes down to it, they change quite a lot more than most people would think. One of the major points is that the game has a higher native resolution in this ported version. This time it's being displayed in 1080p in TV mode and 720p in handheld and tabletop modes, as opposed to the dynamic 1080p and 720p resolutions of a TV connected to a Wii U and a Wii U gamepad respectively. So clearly the graphics have had an upgrade, which is quite logical since the Switch is a lot more powerful than the Wii U. However, is this really a game changer? Would this force your hand towards the order now button? Well, probably not. While it is certainly nice, the difference isn't that big and Nintendo fans don't tend to care about the graphical quality, especially if it's such a minor thing. Sure, it needs to look good, but such a minor difference won't matter to most fans. It's nice to get, but nothing too special. Besides that, there's another major addition, this time to the gameplay, because they added a new character after all. Toadette, who makes her first appearance here, and this also goes for the Super Crown power-up, which is exclusively to her. It allows her to float, double jump infinitely, similar to a PA corn, and double jumps out of pits from losing a life. Any other character cannot pick it up, and merely passes through it, without getting rewarded at all. So these two belong together. However, does this add to the game in a good way? Well, not really, because Toadette and Nabbit are labelled as easy and super easy respectively. When you look into it, they don't really contribute to the gameplay, but are actually characters made for casual players. Yet again, not adding much to the whole experience. I think most people aren't too fussed about this new one that they introduced. Aside from the freaking meme, of course. Besides that, they only changed some minor things here and there to make it easier for the player like being able to select different characters in single player, which wasn't possible before. So really, when it comes to new gameplay content, there is some, but not enough in my opinion. We didn't even get extra levels or worlds like they did with Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This is a bit disappointing since they do stuff like that with other ports, but here they didn't for some reason. So really, in this regard, I would say it's not worth it. If you've played this game on the Wii U, then it's not really a good buy. But luckily enough, the Wii U sold terribly, so I bet they will still sell a ridiculous amount of copies. However, what about the circumstances? Do things change when you keep in mind that it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch now? Well, it actually does, because of one huge reason. The multiplayer option that works well with the Switch. Now, I don't know how you use your Nintendo Switch, but I tend to play it a lot together with friends, either on the big screen or just on the table with the kickstand. Besides that, I only play on it alone when I'm traveling or live streaming here on YouTube. By the way, I stream weekly, so click the bell button next to subscribe, be in the Discord group, or follow my social media to know when I go live. Everything is in the description. 
so really I'm mostly doing stuff with it when I'm hanging out with friends. And this fits extremely well with new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe. This game works really well with couch co-op after all. It's a bit of a party and platformer game. So the Switch is a perfect fit for a title like this. Even more so than the original Wii U, which you couldn't take anywhere. This time you can play co-op everywhere. You can just take off the Joy-Cons and set it all up for two-player wherever you are. And this game doesn't need a whole lot of buttons after all. So the small Joy-Cons are perfect for this. Another thing that makes it a good match is how the multiplayer is presented. All the action is on one big screen, where everyone can see their character. So there's no split screen stuff that would limit both players view in tabletop mode. Even when playing with four, you should have a decent view. This is what makes it interesting in my opinion. Like I already said, when it comes to the features, there isn't enough for me and I'm not too excited about the ones that are coming. But when it comes to co-op options, they're endless and I'm extremely excited. So if I had to determine if this game was really worth it, then I would have to ask you only two questions. Have you played the Wii U version? And do you use your Switch a lot for co-op and couch play? And of these two, the second one is certainly the most important. So really, if you like co-op and never played this title before, then certainly get it. But if you never used that and have played it on the Wii U completely, then I wouldn't advise it. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe and be sure to subscribe and watch more videos because it helps me and you get entertained so we both win.